Good morning YouTube, welcome back to the Scrap and Blind channel. Today I got some work cut out for me. Uh, I'm going to be taking some scrap metal in. I got quite a bit of work to do. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen my pile recently, but there's a lot of scrap metal in the backyard. Got a little bit back here. I got to clean the truck out and get ready for the scrap load. And I don't know, it should be fun, should be profitable. There's quite a bit back there, so let's get into it. Very first item here is this uh, washing machine. This was actually ours. Um, it quit working on us. So, first is this washing machine. I'm gonna load it up. And then you see in the back, I got all that stuff back there. A little bit of non-ferrous, a little bit of ferrous stuff. So, we're gonna see what we can get, what we can load up and what we can make. I'm gonna try to fill up the truck and then my little tiny trailer with stuff. And I don't know, hopefully make at least one trip but if I have to, I'll make two. We don't want to get rid of all of it. Alright, there's the first load. Probably could have fit more stuff in here, but I just I don't want to overdo it. You know, I don't want to pile a bunch of stuff up. But I've got an electric smoker, a microwave, a really heavy front end loader, washing machine, a dryer, mini fridge, big uh, like furnace-y type thing. A another washing machine full of swimming pool legs and then a whole set of trampoline legs got a strap down here on the bottom I'm gonna come across here with one more rope see if my scrapping pallet man class rope tying class has paid off I always try to pay attention when he shows us how to tie the knots and stuff so let me tie this up and uh, we're about to head to the scrapyard all right, so there's my attempt. Pretty tight. This top one's not, it's just uh, the extra slack. I just went back and tied it around, but here's my my one. So this stuff ain't going anywhere. Another good thing is our scrap yard is only about, I don't know, 15 miles, 10 miles or so. So we just cruise slow and should be good. Sucker's squatting down pretty low. Anyway, I think we're gonna have probably three loads, most likely. If I had the sides up, you know, like like Scrap and Pallet Man and Mr. Scrappity and maybe some of the other guys, you know, if they had the, the sides up on their trucks. If I had that, I may be able to fit more, but it's kind of what I'm working with right now, so. Alright guys, a couple things I need to apologize for. First of all, <laughs> those last two clips that you saw that were in time lapse, they were not supposed to be in time lapse. I recorded and talked about what I was doing and everything and when I went back to edit, it was all in time lapse. Got this new camera that I'm still trying to work out all the kinks, so that was an accident. But anyway, total for all those scrap loads we made we had 860 pounds on the first one 660 pounds on the second one 350 pounds on the third one and then i have a bunch of that cable that i'm, I'm you guys have seen it's just steel cable the particular scrap yard that we go to they won't take it anymore so we had to take it to a different scrap yard and that was a total of like 230 pounds we had a grand total of right around $91 for everything so not too not terrible the scrap prices are kind of holding it's pretty steady I haven't been I haven't taken a scrap load in I don't know a month or two so I was pretty pleased with it. we got the yard cleaned and everything made a little extra cash to go towards the, the bill for this camera so pretty happy about that been out here mowing all day today it's a really really nice day our high today is 85 degrees I'm not sure where everybody else's temperatures are right now but down here in Texas 85 degrees we take you guys in the backyard and show you that area where all the scrap metal was 
still about a week and a half away from getting my storage shed, which is gonna go back there. So I've got this one right now, and it, that thing's, I want to. I was gonna show you guys all the brass and the copper and stuff that I have that's in there, but that little shed's, it's not really full, but I've got everything piled around the front door, so not gonna be able to show you guys all that. There's a little bit, I don't have much. I got wire and stuff in there. So I mowed, but I still need a weed eat. This right here, I can't, I don't, didn't wanna run over that with the mower, because there's glass and, Actually not glass, but there was like a burn pit or something here and they covered it with dirt. But there's rocks and so I usually just hit that with a weed eater. But anyway, this is what the pile looks like now. Really pleased. I didn't go ahead and take all the cans. And I still got these two a walker and a shower chair that I'm gonna hold on to. And the three ACs and a bucket of Christmas wire. Got a much bunch more wire in that uh, trash can there, but yeah, the scrap pile was at the edge of that panel fence paneling right there to the tree, and I mean, it was just everywhere. So we got rid of all of it. I was able to mow. Just really glad, really glad to get rid of all of it. Looks better. So as far as scrapping all that stuff goes, there's a lot of stuff that I could have did a lot differently. Um, had a washer and a dryer, actually two washers, the dryer, um, a few other things that had electric motors in. I could have took all the electric motors out, got all the wire, taken it down, stripped it down and got down to the very, very bare, just took out everything, you know, I could have took all that stuff out. But for me, right now, it's not really worth it. It would have taken a while, I just, I wanted to get rid of it all. I don't have a place to work on stuff like that around here. Not yet anyway. When I get my storage building, I'll have quite a bit of extra room that I'll be able to do that kind of stuff in. And I don't know, maybe I can even take you guys along for, for some of that if you're interested. I had a microwave. I mean, there's a lot of copper in those microwaves, but it just, just wasn't worth it for me this time to, to do all that. So I didn't. I mean, I could have squeezed out of that whole big old scrap pile the $91 that I had maybe could have squeezed out an extra $25 out of it maybe just a guesstimation so and it still took me about two hours to from the time I loaded the first load to the time I dropped off the very last load. it took about two hours so and honestly taking all that stuff apart would have probably been like an extra four or five hours because there was a lot of stuff that could have been taken apart and really for an extra 25 30 bucks not really worth it to me but there's some things that are worth it just to sit there and tinker with to take apart that when i'm not doing anything in my shed in the cover i can put on some music and just just go to town on it not really cool with sitting out here getting little little tiny parts all over the yard and it's not what i'm into not not right now anyway so like I said, total was like right around 2,000 pounds, but I did it all in pretty much three trips. What's the biggest load you, of scrap you have taken out? Um, at one time, you know, I took a, I had a trailer. Oh, this wind's blowing. Also, I do have a wind sock coming for this camera that will take away all the wind noise like I had in my old camera. But anyway, I had a trailer one time. Um, my dad's trailer I had like three refrigerators and the truck bed was full the trailer was full not that little guy that's my little bitty trailer but I had all that that trailer and the truck full and I believe we had like 2400 pounds so not much and I've taken loads where I've taken a, an entire car and you know those weigh 3500 pounds sometimes for a truck or but just for like miscellaneous junk you know just some chairs and some lawnmower parts and just random stuff just what's the biggest load you guys have ever taken also you know if you guys if you're into saving up the uh, non-ferrous stuff what's the biggest um payout you guys have ever had uh i think mine the biggest that i saved up i'm trying to think i believe it was like 260 dollars a long time ago and that's when i used to take apart everything you know i would uh, air conditioners are the big thing you take apart an air conditioner there's all kinds of goodies in there 
but I think it was about $260. I had batteries and of course aluminum and copper and everything separated. But I used to have a big shop in my old house. Um, a lot of you guys have been around for a while, have seen that shop. But even back, you know, even when I had that shop, I still kind of got a little, a little lazy with it, I guess. But I want to get back into it. I want to start like separating all my my non ferrous stuff. I saw a video kind of recently that Scrap and Pallet Man did, where he had uh, in one of his little workshops, work area, workspaces, he had a um, a wall with some shelves, and he had buckets in there, and each bucket. They weren't labeled yet, but he was talking about labeling them, but he had, you know, like number one copper, number two copper, bare bright copper, brass. Um, he had some aluminum buckets and he just had it. It was super, super well organized. And it's kind of, kind of what I'd like. And I think what I'm going to do is use the shop, my little shed to take apart stuff. And then the little tiny shed that's up against the house that you saw, I'm going to use that to store all of the non ferrous stuff. Another thing a lot of you guys have asked is, I've been getting a comment pretty regularly, maybe once or twice a video, of people asking like, you know, what are you, what are you picking for? What are you, I see you sometimes get scrap metal, sometimes you pass stuff up. Just what are you, what are you out here looking for? My channel name is Scrap and Blind. And when I very first started, I was scrapping more than I was doing anything else. But as I started, uh, trash picking and dumpster diving I kind of evolved a little bit to where I found out that picking other stuff up to fill the car or the truck is a better payoff than picking up you know a big hunk of shred steel I, I just evolved and so when I go out if I see something I'm kind of on the fence about getting it sometimes I just won't take it I'll just leave it there and I'll move on to the next thing I just you never know what's gonna be in the next dumpster or on the next curb so you just Sometimes I just pass over stuff in, I guess, anticipation that there might be something better at the next spot. Might not be a wise strategy, but that's just kind of what I do. But anyway, guys, I do apologize about the um, the, the clip with the, the time lapse. I just I was trying to show you guys off the scrap load and talk about it. And didn't quite work out how I wanted it to, but hopefully it was still a fun video. But that's going to do it for me. I guess this time I'm going to go take the mower back to my dad both mowers um, that's actually one that I found in the trash not too long ago works perfectly <laughs> and that's what cut this, this this yard I used the big one for the backyard but for the front one man it just the, the thing works perfectly and I don't remember I think he said there wasn't much wrong with it trash mower <laughs> take it every time so yeah I don't know what we're gonna do the rest of the day it's a really pretty day Lucas does have t-ball practice would you guys like to see Lucas at T-ball practice? If so, let me know. But for now, I'm going to get back in and uh, see y'all next time.